A while back, I posted a meme about forward head posture, uh, mainly for leaders while dancing. Of course, it's for West Coast Swing, but I imagine it would apply for you know any partner dancing. And you know, I've also given this to you know runners, triathletes, and people like that, cyclists um, who struggle with kind of like this happening uh, as fatigue sets in. So, what you're going to do is you're going to be lying down on your stomach, and pretty much my entire lower body is relaxed. You know, my my feet. My legs are just kind of stretched out. My low back is relaxed, no tension anywhere. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my lats and my rhomboids, like my low traps, so all my upper back muscles to push my shoulders down and away. So kind of like a proud chest this way and shoulders down and back. So my upper back, you know, my frame pretty much is just locked in place. Um, and all of this movement is going to come from an awareness of the base of your neck. So you are going to try to imagine uh, that your head is actually connected to your spine. So if I told you to nod your head up and down in this position, a lot of people would end up kind of doing something like this, right? So we are going to, again, proud chest, shoulders down and back, get the rest of your spine, the rest of your back muscles relaxed. And I'm thinking about making my neck long. So if there was a string coming out of the top of my head, it would be reaching this way as far as possible. And now, if I think about keeping my neck long as I nod my head up and down, I'm going to slowly look down, breathing with my eyes. And the origin of this movement, again, is down here. And as I stretch up, this stays long. This stays reaching out the top of my head. And I just go till I find the limit of that movement. So I'm not going to drop anything or crunch anything to try to look up higher. So just like so, leading with the eyes, looking up. You can exhale as you look down, inhale as you look up. And just keeping the neck long the entire time. When you're done with this, you can find neutral, so kind of the same, same position-ish with, you know, the frame, the shoulders locked in, the upper back extended pretty much as much as you can back of your head reaching back, back of your neck reaching back. And again, if I just thought about the back of my head, I might do something like this. I'm thinking of the back of my neck too and keeping my neck long in this direction. I'm gonna turn, again, leading with the eyes, looking left, trying to keep my neck neutral and looking right. And your tendency, your reflex is probably gonna be as you turn, a bit of this might happen, right? So we're trying to keep this positioning, keep the neck long, keep the back of the neck back as we turn. Just nice and slow like this. You can do 10, 20 of each of these. You can set a timer and go for a minute each, just nice and slow. And this is just gonna improve your awareness of where your head is in relation to your spine and your upper body, as well as strengthening those muscles in a way that will actually carry over. Because again, we want to be filling that space with length rather than just trying to arbitrarily pull or push back in place. Now you can also do a stretch. By kind of leaving the back of your neck over a pillow or something like that. I'm not sure if this will work. And I've seen people do this, but again, there's a lot of like kind of crunching and hunching and, and almost curling up here as people try to do this. So we want to make sure that the support is at the base of our neck and we are thinking long, like arching up and over as much as possible, and stretching out this way. And you might not feel that much of a stretch on the front of your neck. You really just want to make sure that this length is what we're seeking out. And you can say here, you can also look back and forth here. The really important key here is when you're coming out of it, again, after however long, you don't just try to curl your head back up after these muscles have been kind of like lengthened and uh, deactivated, especially if it's a weak position for you. Make sure you're using your own hands to help yourself back up out of that position. So, hope that helps.